This is my automatic jukebox. I'm gonna show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. If you happen to like today's video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. Okay, so basically this is an automatic jukebox. As soon as you push that button, it's just gonna keep playing forever. But let's say you unload the trunk or you walk away and there's no more music this and there. The button's just nice to have there to restart everything. But otherwise, if you're in the area, it is just gonna keep playing music and it's gonna be randomized. And I'll explain it as we go through it. But you never know which song is gonna come up next. Well, which makes it kind of fun. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need. Either pause it or take a screenshot. Okay, keep in mind these right here are droppers, not uh, dispensers. You don't need dispensers. You can use them, but you don't need them. And you don't need to use red carpet or bone block. You can use whatever blocks and carpet color uh, you want. And this is also an extra disc because we're going to put it in the frame. And then if you don't have all the discs, that's fine. Just throw in whatever discs you want. It'll work the same way. Ideally, you want to get one of each disc, though, to have the uh, maximum randomness benefit. Okay? So first, what we're going to do is we're going to break a block, put a, a uh, hopper into this right here, into that block, break the two behind it. We're then going to take a dropper facing that way, a dropper facing up. Okay? We're then going to put a jukebox on top, crouch, put it on top of the hopper, and then crouch and put two more hoppers facing into that jukebox. Okay? We're then gonna, this, so again, this is the front. We're gonna break that block in front of the uh, jukebox and we're gonna put a comparator there. We're gonna put an observer facing there, okay? So you wanna make sure the face is facing the comparator. And then we're gonna go another uh, comparator, another observer, I'm sorry, there. We're gonna put a block. So whatever block you just took from the ground, which in my case would be uh, this block right here. Leave that there, and then we're going to put a piece of redstone dust there. So what's going to happen is jukeboxes will uh, that are sitting on top of hoppers, the jukebox, as soon as it's done playing the song, it will also automatically get its disc pulled out by the hopper, which is then automatically going to feed it into this first um, this, uh, dropper that we have here. But what we want to do is read this hopper. So as soon as that, as soon as that disc goes in this for a second, it's going to be read that this comparator will flash. It'll turn on and then turn off. That'll give us just enough time for this observer to read the comparator. Then this observer is going to read this observer. It's going to activate this block, which in turn is going to activate this dropper. It's also going to activate this red. This block is going to activate this redstone, which is also going to activate this dropper. So you're going to have, oh, by the way, really quick, load this right here. Load this first one up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Load this one up with one, two, whatever, the rest of them. As long as you have one spot, you need at least one spot available in this first one, okay? Then put the block back. So once both of these droppers are activated, this one's going to shoot it into this one. This one's going to shoot it into this hopper. This hopper is automatically going to push it here, and the song is just going to keep going on and on until you unload uh, the area. I did wrong. So what we need to do is start it here. Yep, so we can break that. What we need to do is start it here. So that's two, three, four. Okay, it goes there. And then we can actually come behind that block and put it on top of this um, hopper. Okay, and then just put down your carpet like so. We don't need this one anymore. Okay, so it looks like that. You're then going to put a button right here. And then, you're like I said, you're going to take your item frame. And I accidentally put my, I accidentally put one too many there we go. I think it was this one. I accidentally put one too many in there. Because what we want to do is save one for this right here. Okay. We're not done yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get your observers ready. And we're actually going to break down one, two. Well, it's, it's actually three down total. And same thing here. One, two, three. Okay. And now what we're going to do. Uh, as you can see on this one, is we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, have the observer read that repeater. Okay, so we're going to put an observer facing this way by crouching, placing it into or against the hitbox of the uh, repeater. We're going to come down underneath it and we're going to go one, two. Okay, and then you can actually 
put back. Oops. Sorry. It's like that right there. Okay. And then you can actually put back. No, it is three. I'll tell you why it's three in a minute. Yeah, it is three down. Okay. And then what you can do is you can put back that ground right there and right there. And you put a piece of redstone dust there. Now, why did we go three down instead of two down? Because if I had put it here, okay, so if I put, if I had put it on where this one is right here, the redstone, the redstone is going to activate, but it's going to activate this and this at the same time. So it's not going to be able to shoot it because you're actually going to be locking the hopper. So if we push it one down, this is going to activate this right here, this block right here, this uh, dirt, which can only activate this. It can't go up here and lock that. Okay, so that's why we needed that extra one. And then you can go ahead and put those two back. And then just for decoration, you can crouch and go one, two, one, two, and then one. Just in case you want to do this outside. There's really no exposed redstone. You have these, but it's not the same. So as soon as you press this, okay, as you can see, it starts playing. And then now it's going to be infinite. But the reason it's randomized is because the droppers will shoot from any of the nine spots. So it does, it's not going to just shoot from this one. Like the hoppers go across, right? The hoppers are straight across. So you have a hopper. It's going to go this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Unless something keeps shooting into that, right? That's the way the hoppers work. But for these right here, for droppers, it is just going to pull anyone randomly from any one of these spots. So it's going to shoot those into the hoppers. So you never know which one's going to come up first. Okay? Anyway. That's going to do it for me. Hope you guys like this. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.